got to get this fish out of here. I cannot wait to show you this fish. We have three drum, a crappie, and something very, very special. I will be taking a picture of this fish. I wish I could catch it on a rod and reel. Like, fair play. Hey guys, <clears throat> Zach Amateur here with Legendary Fishing. Today, we're gonna be going down below the uh, Toledo Bend Spillway. It's been flooded for a while, so, uh, yeah, but, but they just uh, closed the floodgates and I think opened the uh, gates up for the public to be able to go down there uh, a day or two ago. So we're gonna be going down there, not using a rod and reel, but using the carp net to try and scoop the fish out uh, of the flooded pools that, and keep them from being shot by, by you know, jackasses out there with bows or um, drying up, you know, the pool's drying up and uh, the fish dying. So we're gonna get out there, uh, try and see if we can get some of these fish in. And uh, what we're gonna be doing, or what I'm gonna be doing, is scooping these fish up and then taking them to uh, the river and releasing them back into the river. So it's kind of a, a fish rescue mission. So yeah, we'll get to it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and see y'all out there. Bye. Do it. See if we can corral these dudes into a corner. No, I can't see them now. I think they're. Yeah, they done, They took off, swam up ahead of me. If we can corral them in this corner up here, we should be able to get them. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go. Ah. Went past me. This might take a little while. Here they are up in front of me. Let's see. Oh, there goes one past me. Well, one is still in front of me. There he goes. I thought about bringing the cast net, but honestly, the last time I didn't <clears throat> have a problem with uh, snagging the fish, but I didn't even bring a rod down here this time because I'm like, okay, I got the big net. I guess I should have brought the cast net. I could have corralled them into a corner and then threw the net over them. I'm not going to spend all day out here on these two fish. I still got other spots to explore. Oh, there they are up there. Come on. There he goes. It's a smaller one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm going to go to the other holes and see what I can find in there. There's a drum right here in front of me. Facing me. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, dang it. It's a smaller hole. Maybe I can corral him up. I don't know where he went now. Oh, there he goes. So he doesn't have much space. 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, this big net is too. I can't get him to go, uh, go for it unless maybe oh, if I can get him up here in this corner. Maybe I can leave the net and he'll swim into it. Oh no, because the, the end of the net floats. See if I can get him to go into it. He went into it. Oh, now he's back out. Come on, dude. Go into it with some force. Nope, not happening. All right, but maybe. Here, I think I'm gonna get this one. No, he swam under it right when I say that. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get this one. <clears throat> he goes underneath the net. Jasmine would be having a ball right now if I broke her. Oh, dang it, he went under it again. Where'd you go this time? Oh, there, there it is. to go this time. Oh, there he is. He finds a little hole, uh, a little bow in the uh, netting and he goes for it. It turns on the side and everything and gets underneath the net. Come on, dude. Trying to help you here. I know you don't know that. <clears throat> For anyone saying, oh, just move faster. You can't move fast with this net. Because you've got so much resistance. Oh! Yeah, go back in this corner. Go back in this corner. Actually, if Jasmine was here with me, I could get her to run the fish. Maybe I can get him doing this. 
home, but... That's all right. Now you're in an even smaller area. As long as he doesn't get out from under it again. Alright. Now. I'm not worried about taking pictures. Nothing like that. Here we go. I will show you guys, but I'm not worried about, like I said, taking pictures. Alright. <clears throat> oh, he's drumming. I don't know if you guys heard that, but... But, yeah. There, he's making his drumming sound. There we go. Freshwater drum. Back in the river. Let's see if we can find any more fish that we can actually get. Got to get this fish out of here. I cannot wait to show you this fish. We have three drum, a crappie, and something very, very special. I will be taking a picture of this fish. I wish I could catch it on a rod and reel. Like, Fair play. There's a crawfish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you beauty. beauty. Oh, I never thought I'd see one of those. Be able to put my hands on a live one. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. I touched him with the net. Oh my goodness. One of my dream fish. Absolute dream fish. Right here in front of me. Oh no, come here. Come on. No! I almost had him in the net. Dead gum it. I never, this is not what I thought I'd be finding today. And this is why I decided to come down here and do this. Because of if some of these bubbas out here was to see this fish, they'd shoot it. Even though it's very illegal and nobody does anything about it. Oh, I just got it. You guys don't see me excited very often. This fish I'm extremely excited about. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. I, I, I just I just gotta catch one on a rod and reel. <sighs> Let me collect myself for a moment. <clears throat> this guys is a threatened species. This is a blue sucker. They have little bitty mouths. For a relatively large fish oh my gosh I never thought I'd hold a live one they are only found in Louisiana in the Mississippi and the Sabine River oh my god I cannot believe that of all places I find one in a basically a mud hole um, this to some kids they see if they, well i mean I've probably never seen one ne didn't even know what it was probably never see one again but i'm gonna go ahead and let this lady it's a female the uh, the males they'll have tub tubulars uh on their heads from moving rocks around or for moving rocks around There you go. 
There she goes. We get the drum and the crappie. crappie and the drum. I think I'm going to go for the crappie next. There's the crappie. And we got the crappie. All right. Really nice size crappie. Looks like he's been caught a few times, or maybe he got messed up coming through the gates. But I mean, a slab of a crappie. All right. There you go. Now that goes around. That's the so the main river channel over here, and this flows down into it. All right, guys, short video, but uh, <clears throat> accomplished the mission, um, at least to the best of my abilities. Um, I wasn't able to catch all of the uh, drum. They were just, I guess, too fast, uh, too big of an area, and I just wasn't able to, uh, <clears throat> to corral them up. Uh, so I know there was two in the first hole, four in the second, uh, well, four in the third hole with the uh, crappie and the blue sucker but I got was able to capture and relocate a uh, freshwater drum a uh, black crappie and a blue sucker uh, I talked to some other kids that were doing the same thing I was actually and they said that uh, pretty much all that was left downriver were drum and a big pool and a lot of bass so uh i'm not gonna worry about the bass the drum like i'll be coming down here in the next few days hopefully and i'll bring the, the cast net i do have the cast net with me right now but um there's a lot of people down here right now so i'd rather just go ahead and uh call it a day for this one and i'll come back with the ca uh, cast net either tomorrow or maybe in a few days uh bring jasmine out here maybe but <clears throat> if you haven't already please like and subscribe we are uh finally over a thousand subscribers um the next time i get to do some carp fishing which i thought about today but uh i got to thinking about these pools here and i'm like well that's more important than going and uh catching carp and buffalo and then with how many people are down here today, I probably wouldn't have been able to get to my spot. So, But <clears throat> next time I do get to go carp and buffalo fishing, I plan on doing a live. So uh, hopefully that'll be in a couple of days. I don't have it planned. So I can't really put a memo out to the community board. But anyways, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Well, he's going to come for the job. Watch out. So welcome to my show. And every time that you're fishing, whoa. That's a team. Come on, now, let's go.